Bioactive glass is a really innovative material. It's been around for about 40 years, uh, but it's really in the last maybe 10 years really started to take off commercially. Uh, bioactive glass is a material that can react with body fluids and it will, uh, it can kill bacteria, stimulate cells, and at the same time uh, aid in, in healing tissues. When it's introduced into the body, uh, the body fluids react with the glass and the glass will start to dissolve. And what the ions that are released from the glass can have an antimicrobial effect and a cell recruiting effect. And so uh, along with the material actually acting as a scaffold for the cells to attach and grow. Um, the other thing that bioactive glass will do is typically these glasses contain calcium. And so when the calcium is released into the body fluids, it reacts with phosphorus that's in your, your bloodstream and you'll form uh, a chemical called hydroxyapatite. And hydroxyapatite is the inorganic component of bone. And so if you would feel your elbow and it feels very hard, that's because you're, you're basically pressing against the hydroxyapatite structure in which the cells in your bones reside. So some of the types of products that bioactive glass can end up would be biologics. So bone grafts, putties, um, standalone granules for the orthopedic and spine industry. You've got maybe coatings on metals, so screws, plates, um, anything that's going to be used maybe in orthopedics or spine applications. Um, you've got, uh, it could be a component of a composite, so if you were making a, a glass polymer composite, this could be the strengthening mechanism for that and also be degradable and, and stimulate uh, tissue regeneration. It could end up in a cream or a gel or a glue. I mean, it's really kind of a hidden component, but also kind of an active component. And so it has the ability to uh, be made into a form that can easily fit into many different commercial applications. Bioglass is a good biomaterial because it's inorganic, it's very manufacturable. Uh, you have the ability to make the many different form factors. Since it's inorganic, it's essentially a limitless supply. You can always make more where bone or some of the other types of materials that people use in medical applications, you know, you need cadaver bone or you need uh, donor or patient supplied bone and, and sometimes there's not enough. So it's a really good option for that. Cost is relatively low compared to many of the other commercially available options. And since it's inorganic, you don't have to worry about disease transmission and things like that. And it's also degradable. So where some biomaterials you place it in there, uh, the tissue will grow around it, but it stays there forever. These materials break down into natural components that the body can use, and eventually you've got your own uh, natural, soft, or, or hard tissue re regenerated.